Okay, I'm going to work on uh, the side plates for the little coil winder. I, thought, I had some material here. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, it's uh, like a poly board. It's plastic. It's brittle. It's uh, not brittle. It's it's uh, stiff, and it's uh, 200 and about 240 wide or thick so I know what it's going to be in its next life <laughs> I think it was a an old sign uh, an old poly uh, sign that uh, I don't know where I got it probably from my father-in-law but anyway I'm going to go ahead and square up a couple pieces of that and then I'm going to write a program and we're going to go over in the NC and um, cut, cut out the side plates. So when I get over, when I get these pieces squared up and uh, to size, and I get ready to go to uh, the NC machine, and I get ready to start setting up for this, I'll I'll come back. Um, there's, there's not a real whole lot to the the side profile uh, slot in there for the shaft goes through for the gears uh, in. Uh, uh, the wire guide it, uh, goes on a sh on a, sh a threaded shaft that moves back and forth. Also, so anyway, the first pieces I'm going to make are after the gears is the the side plates, and then uh, when I get done with this, making the side plates, then we'll have to uh, put the spacer in between, so like cause, so they sit great distance apart. So that's what I'm doing. I was out knocking snow off at my apple trees. Uh, we got some heavy wet snow and our, my apple trees are still loaded with apples and unfortunately this year was an abundant crop of apples. I mean I the trees were drooping already with apples and now the snow I have several branches come down so I'm out there with a, I had a piece of handrail that's 10 foot long and I was out there whacking the heck out of them to knock the snow out of the trees so I had to come in and warm up a little bit so I'm going to work on Sidewinder a little bit so that's where I'm at, that's what's going on so catch you later okay here I am over on the CNC mill I got my, this, I use this for a lot of different parts that I make, little trinkets and what I did was I <clears throat> put in uh, dowel holes here, just building a little fixture basically, holding plate. And I put three dowels in. So now my program will be called off of the center line, the, set, the zero center line will be the edge of these pins. So I will take my, plate, my part my uh, raw stock and I'll nest it in there. Now before I do this though what I'm going to do is poke some holes and drill and tap them in the plate so I can put bolts in and uh, bolt the, the part down. I will show you on my software here I got the program for the profile of the um, of the plate. So let me see here. I'm going to set tools. I'm going to be using a uh, 187.5 cutter. So I set my tool diameter and we'll draw it. That's what it's going to look like. Now there's nothing in the way over here so I'm going to take because I'm going to take and put a hole over here and another one down here, and another one over here, and another one there. So I can put four quarter inch screws in here and hold that down. And then I can do it with all my machining. So what the first thing I'm going to do is run that profile into this plate. I really wouldn't have to run it in this plate. But I'm going to. That way I make sure that everything is looking 
what I'll do is I'll run it into the plate about 10, 15 thousandths so I can see um, what the profile is going to look like. Once I, uh, once I do that, once I cut the profile into the plate here, then I'll come back. But what I'm gonna, like I say, what I'm going to do is I'll set my tool up and then quick run the profile and then figure out where I'm going to put the holes. They don't have to be any specific spot just so they don't run in, in, into any of the other details. So I'll probably just manually put those in. So, like I say, the first thing will be to run that profile. So I don't have I don't have a tool set up yet. I'll get a tool set up and when I'm cutting that, I'll come back. I was so I got to go up another half inch. So that was 250. That's, we're at zero. I'm going to start over here. Touch off. It repeats. I'm looking at my dial here, and it repeats right on. So, so I need to crank it up 750 from there. I'm going to move my Z up. Go up 750. One, two, three, four, five, six, 750, and I'm going to go an extra five. So it should cut five thou in into the material, into the base, the holding plate. Let's see, I'm going to move you down a little bit here. Kind of sky lab in it. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going